Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Thomas and in today's video we are going to be making the second bit of the Funko Pop. Bazinga! So guys, on this channel we do 3D modeling inside of Blender and yeah that, that's basically it. So if that sounds interesting, make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification thingy pop. So in last week's video we did the modeling uh but then in today this week we are going to be doing hair hands and feet okay uh so let's start now so uh this is the where we left off last week so here you see we have the little uh, face with the body and the arms okay cool so starting off let's take this leg and then rotate it a little bit like that. Then we take this end of the leg and rotate it down. Okay, cool. Uh, let's put this on quickly. Then add a cube, drag it down, scale it, scale. There you go, GX, scale. Okay, cool. Let's drag this up. Out. Cool, that's kind of how big the shoe should be. Let's add like two edge loops. Cool. So let's add edge loop there. Go front view and select these two, drag it down. Let's go to the bottom view and then shape is foot out to be more, more foot shapes. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Let's just drag us here. And then let's drag these out, drag them in. Then G, select G. And then let's rotate them like this. And then we can select this piece here and drag it up a bit. Okay, cool. So then let's select this mirror modifier, add all add modifier, mirror, mirror object, and select it to be the pants. So now our character has some feet. And then what we're gonna do is have him put his hands in his pockets. So let's grab these, drag them down. Actually, let's just extrude them. So select these, extrude. And then let's drag these in with double G for uh, drag or what the sli uh, edge is like. Okay, cool. So now that my brother's got out of my room, I can carry on the corner of this um, <laughs> And then let's shape this. That is, that makes sense for how his hand is in his pocket. And then let's make this. Doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. So there's the basics of the pocket. Cool. Then uh, let's go for like a, like my well not really my hairstyle. My hairstyle is a mess right now. Um, <laughs> so let's drag this down. Let's do what I used to have. Um, 
many of you remember my old profile picture when I had this really terrible look. And then let's drag these in. Okay, cool. And then let's add some like rotation kind of thing. In more, yeah. Okay, cool. So now the, let's drag this out actually back on the y axis. Or what we can actually do is select all of these and down into the head. Okay, okay, cool. So now what we do, we can make the ears shift A, mesh, cube. Let's drag this over. So this is control one, control A, visual geometry to mesh. Okay, cool. So now Go, rotate. Cool. Let us add the ears over there. Okay, cool. So I think we well actually before we finish, just add a nose. So we drag this in, drag that there. And we select this, drag it out. add a uh, mirror modifier and then drag this out okay cool so now actually no, I like it better without it okay cool so yeah Okay, so actually just lost everything uh, of the textures. So we're just gonna have to redo that. Um, that's very fun. So just remember to control S a bit more than I do. Okay, cool. So first off, let's go to environment texture, color, environment, and then I'm gonna eight, uh, open a HDR. Uh, I'll link down a site down below, HDR Heaven which is a free collection of HDRs to be used for free. So it's basically just a, a, a 360 degree image to add to make a background. This switches to cycles and turn film transparent on. Okay, cool. So now let's select the hair. Let's give this material. Let's give it like a brown color. Make it more rough, cool. Now let's add another one, change this to peach. There, so now we have a uh, peach for the, 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 the skin. And then we can make a nice dark gray for the out. Cool, so now select the body. Let's make a gray. Let's select the arms, change that to peach. Let's change the shoes. Let's actually add a line for the sole. And then, so let's make this the, the black for, that we use for the shirt. And then we can make a new one, make this white, and assign this to the line. Let's make this like 
jeans, so like a nice dark blue colour. Bit less saturated. Okay, cool. Let's select the ears, change that to peach as well. Okay, cool. So that's basically my Funko Pop. So uh, you can use this, well, actually, select the hair. I want to add another edge loop. And then add this here, and add this here. Okay, cool. So now let's set up the scene for rendering. Okay, so for rendering, uh, let's first off set a add a shift A camera. I'm gonna go for the, the, the right side like this. Control Alt Zero, and then go to View Navigation and Warp Navigation. I'll right click and say Add a Shortcut, and I'll set my shortcut to Shift F. Okay, cool. So now you can Shift F and use was to move around and Q to go down and E to go up to position your camera and there you go so then let's take so let's go to shading let's select world go back to cycles and then if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled that you go to edit preferences add-ons and search node wrangler and you enable that and you can click on this uh, image over here, control T, and I'll set up this. So you can just change the rotation on the Z axis. So that we can move the HDR to be spinning it around. Cool. So let's drag that up a bit more. Okay, cool. So now what I want to do is add something called room lighting. So, so we can just go here, add a, another light area, rotates, cheese, and bump the power up. We can R, double R to rotate. And there, so it just makes it stand out a bit. I'm also going to take the bottom one down. It's almost as if it's fall off. Well, right now it is because it's set to four watts. Let's make this a bit. Uh, let's make this blue. Make it blue. And then what we can do is actually take this image and then color ramp. RGB curves, and then if you look at this, rendered, then we can, uh, I'll make this a bit more red. Okay, so it's a bit more red, and then you remove green a bit. Okay, cool. So let's actually let's turn off transparent. Okay, that's not gonna work because it makes that green light on his face, which we don't really particularly want. So I think that's fine by itself. Okay, cool. So there you go. So let's go to back to layout. And then we can set up the the background. So let's go Shift A, Image Plane. I mean Plane, not Image. Um, just drag this down to the feet. Cool. So now let's scale this all the way up. Select these two extrude Z, Control Four, Add Edge Loop, Add Edge Loop, and there you go. And then let's select it. Make a new material, make it dark, and 
and let's actually rotate this like that. Cool, and then we can make this rough and turn off, turn specular all the way down. And then make it a, like a desaturated dark blue. And then what we can do to save on processing power is go to uh, whatever the sprinter thingy is and do render region. And there you go. So now we have this cool clean setup. Let's quickly actually select that background. Uh, make it shade smooth and set the render level to 4. Okay, cool. So let's select everything, Control A, and Visual Geometry to Mesh. That will apply all modifiers. You know, that's exactly as it looks like on the scene and won't come out different in the final render. Cool. So now we can go over to the Render tab, Denoising, just set that on, uh, NLM, and Open Image Denoise. Um, I don't know what the difference between them, but I uh, prefer NLM because when you do open image denoise it takes a bit slower because you only it gives three cores to rendering and one core to denoising so it, in my opinion it's slower because i have a slow computer but you have to do some research on it, which is better or i can do some research and make a video on it and then i set my performance and my tiles to 16 because i'm using a cpu um you might want to use a different thing if you're using a gpu and yeah so that's what we need to do render image and let's start rendering so guys i hope you enjoyed the video so the final result should be up in like this corner up here or somewhere here so you can see what it looks like um, so if you want i have a base mesh pack uh link down below to my gumroad uh it's free uh to download but um any support would be much appreciated uh you can just join the discord check out my stream and my flower page if you want to hire me so yeah uh make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment down below if you want me to teach you anything but, i don't know uh my blender crashed that's very fun hopefully blender's auto correct works well for once